Hello everyone. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm sorry I have been gone for a while. Of course, I told you I'd be taking a little vacation from YouTube and just business in general. And um, I just miss doing videos. So I wanted to come back and do a couple today. And the first one is just something that I was sitting here piddling around with and I come up with this envelope and I thought I would share it with you guys because I thought it was really cute and it's a good way to mail out um, Happy Mail. Um, I was watching Pam at Paper Outpost, who I just love. She is so funny. And I was making all these little envelopes up for um, Happy Mail and different things that I wanted to add into journals. Um, and I will link her tutorial below. I did mine a little different. Um, you have the pockets here in the front of the side tucks. Then when you open it up, you have this huge pocket. Um, with hers, she left these flaps down and then glued them here so you had top tucks and bottom tucks. Um, I folded mine over and then made a pocket here and here. And then you'll have this pocket here for, you know, uh, vintage pages and things like that, book pages and, and just scrap paper, things that people can collage with. So that's how I did mine, but I needed an envelope that this would fit into because this is actually like the size of an envelope. So it wouldn't fit, so I decided to make some. And so this is what I come up with. Um, I wanted to do something different and I love the little tag shape. So there's that one and then there is this one. And so I thought I could add like the purple one in uh, with this. I used regular paper, regular, you know, like design uh, scrapbook paper because I tried the cardstock and it is pretty um, and I like it but it is you have to get the thinner cardstock because like Prima you couldn't use it's just too thick and it doesn't want to fold right uh, but I did like that but I felt like this was a better way to fill it up and it where it was thinner because you're gonna add so much bulk with all your stuff anyway um, I thought this would be the better choice um, but all of the envelopes are made um, with cardstock. So I'm going to show you how I made this. It's very simple, uh, but I think it is just a really cute way uh, to mail out these envelopes or anything that you're making for Happy Mail. So um, I'll show you how I did it. Like I said, it's really simple. Um, I just kind of folded, and I don't measure guys, so I'm sorry, but I just folded over to where I could see that it was going to overlap some. And I didn't want it to overlap a lot um because i wanted to leave this as wide as i could but yet you have to have enough if you can see that to you know have a good closure you don't want your um envelope to come apart let me use my, my folder the one thing i hate about this paper it is so pretty but you get that stuff all over your fingers i know um just weird Okay, so that's what I did. I just folded it that way so I knew I could close it here. And then I just cut, and I'm gonna use um, the same angle that I used for my other ones. But I just cut like a slant, just where I thought would be a good um, tag shape. And I'll just use it on, that's not right, Lisa. Hold up, on this side so that way it's even. And you don't have to do the tag shape. I just thought it was really cute and I wanted to do something different. Um, so as you can see, now you've got your tag shape. Okay, the bottom, you wanna fold it up. Depending how long, you know, your envelope is, of course mine, um, I'm starting to measure from this area here because some things might not fit, as you can see down in there. So I measured from here to here to make sure it would fit. And then I just folded and Left just a little bit of room there. Oops, sorry guys, I think I hit the tripod. Okay, and then we're gonna open it back up. I think I was off camera there. Whoops, I just dropped those scissors. Okay, and we're gonna cut out the two ends here because we don't need that extra bulk folding it over. So we're gonna cut this out. And then this piece here, we're just gonna put a little slant. So you get that shape, okay? And again, we're just gonna cut this one out. 
and I'm going right above the crease. Um, that way it takes that bulk out. Make sure I've got that good here. Yep. Okay, so now you guys can see, see how that looks like an actual envelope, like the closure of an envelope. Okay, so that's it. And so what I did was, let me trim this just a tad. Make sure you cut above that crease, that way um, you don't have that extra bulk and it closes good. So what I did was I just went up here and glued all of this and make sure you put plenty of glue because you don't want this to open in the mailing process. Um, and of course, when I fill mine up, I will actually go back and put tape down the center, but um, you could even put washi tape if you wanted, because you've got it glued. So you're just gonna fold it over. And I know I, I glued some of it twice, but I didn't care, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, that does go there too, doesn't it? No, it does not go there. What am I doing? <sighs> Back on camera, you know, something's gotta go wrong. Okay, and then we're gonna put uh, you can put your just like clear packaging tape or washi tape right here. I don't know why I put glue there. I'm doing too much today and I'm getting all confused. Okay, so that's it. And it's easy peasy. You just leave this open till you're ready to use it. And I'm just making a bunch up and then I've got them. And so with this one, like I said, these will fit. I can fill these full of ephemera and vintage book pages and things. And then I can put it right in here as you can see that fits good and then seal it up and uh, I will glue this um, but you can also put you know your tape your clear packaging tape or whatever and then if you have this type of paper um, you can buy just a label and put it in the center and write their name and address your name and address on that um, this one I will be able to actually write on uh, because it's the matte paper this here I probably couldn't so I'm actually just gonna put a label on this so I just thought that was cute. I thought I would share that with you guys. Um, something easy to make. I'm gonna like send make a bunch up and then I'll just have them ready. Um, I've been getting a lot of happy mail and I wanna send things um, out. So that's a way to do that and use up your scrapbook paper at the same time. And I do have a happy mail video coming up from uh, different people that's been sending me happy mail and I need to get caught up on that. And I need to do my flip through of my June um, design team project for Lynette at Cheaply Chic because I got my journal done so I need to show you that too so I will get all that out I hope you guys are doing well be safe for the 4th of July weekend you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you soon bye